This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Squarespace. On this episode of Techno Buffalo, brought to you by our friends at Squarespace, we are going to cover everything mobile. We're going to find out what these two phones have in common and don't have in common. We're going to find out why this guy is the best phone in AT&T's lineup and what's up with the iPad 3 or iPad 2 HD, iPad 2 Plus, or whatever Apple might call it, when you can expect it and if you can expect it. This is Ask the Buffalo. Let's get started. Welcome back to another edition of Ask the Buffalo. I'm John Rettinger and you can ask me any question from the wide world of technology that you might have. Whether it's cell phones, laptops, computers, desktops, or something else that might use batteries, it is fair game. Go ahead and ask me anything. You can ask the questions in two ways. First, you can send a message to me on Twitter, either at my personal account at John4Lakers or at TechnoBuffalo. Ask your question and use the hashtag AskTheB. Otherwise, once a week on TechnoBuffalo.com, we put up an article asking people to submit their questions and you can ask your questions there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this episode of Ask the Buffalo. This is a very mobile-centric episode. We're focused on tablets and laptops. Our first question comes to us from the website. 00DudeManGuy00 asks, John, what is the best Android smartphone for AT&T? That's a great question. Actually, about a week and a half ago, I put up an article talking about the five best phones in AT&T's lineup. And number one actually happens to be an Android phone. Uh, the best phone, at least in my opinion, whether it's Android or iPhone or any other operating system out there, is definitely the Samsung Infuse. This 4.5 inch beauty is a glorious phone to behold. I'm holding it above my head in glory. Uh, the screen is absolutely awesome. Uh, it's using AT&T's HSPA Plus 4G network, so it's very fast. It only has one core, unfortunately. So for those of you that like to spec your phones and make sure they're maxed out, you know, you're not gonna be getting that dual core speed of say the Motorola Atrix. But what you're losing in that one core, you are gaining up in a really, really slim package, a gorgeous screen, and a phone that just works very well. So the best phone, in my opinion, in at ts lineup is an Android phone, Samsung Infuse. You can't go wrong. Hopefully that helps answer your question. So the next question comes from Vivid Tweets, who asks, John, are you still using the BlackBerry? I took your advice and I feel so happy with a non-smartphone. I'm using a Nokia E63. Well, I'm sure BlackBerry and Nokia aren't so happy with this. To give you guys a bit of backstory, uh, about a month ago, I had had it up to here with my smartphone addiction. Everywhere I went, I was on the phone, I was checking YouTube comments, I was checking comments on Revision 3, I was watching videos, managing stats, replying to comments, and everything else you can do with a phone really 24 hours a day, and I felt like I needed to unplug. So I picked up a unlocked BlackBerry Bold 9780, so all I'm getting on here is just email, and the BlackBerry's limitations, which I know a lot of people have talked about, is actually one of its biggest selling points to me. The browser, awful. On OS 6 at least, not so incredibly solid, so I'm not spending my time browsing the web. Twitter client, barely useful. It's got an awesome keyboard, and I can peck out a ton of emails on here. So everything that I used to do on my phone, that I used to spend all my time addicted to checking and playing games, I can't do anymore at the BlackBerry, and it's freed up my life. Uh, so RIM's probably not so happy to hear that, just like I'm sure Nokia is not so happy to hear uh, that you're using their E63. But it does work, so if you ever feel like you're too plugged in and you just need a few days or weeks to unplug, you know, I really recommend trying to pick up even a flip phone or something that's just going to make phone calls for you. Hope that answered your question. So keeping up with the smartphone questions, this one comes from Dan DeOrio, who asked John, what smartphone did you use before you switched to BlackBerry? Uh, I was an iPhone user and I was using a unlocked iPhone 4 I was using on AT&T's network. I've got a blue one here which I converted to look blue. It's kind of fun, but this is what I was addicted to. I had it with me all the time and that was the phone that was always in my pocket when I wasn't testing something new and something hot. Our next question is from Bosox Tweets. John, who's more awesome, you or Noah? If you've seen our videos on Revision 3, you know the answer is very clear. The answer is choice C. John Quatch is most awesome. Our next question comes from perhaps the best name I've ever read. Techno Buffalo Fan asks, John, what do you think about BlackBerry OS 7? 
Uh, that's a great question. Um, so I've been using a BlackBerry. As I mentioned, I'm very interested uh, in what RIM is going to do with OS 7, in particular the hardware that it's going to come on. So it's going to come on the BlackBerry Bold Touch, the 9900. Uh, or the CDMA variant of the 9900. We're gonna see it on the Torch 2, which we broke. We had exclusive hands-on with the phone, and it's gonna, gonna come on another Torch device, which doesn't have a physical keyboard. Sort of think storm, but actually that works. Uh, I like the liquid graphics. I like how it's very smooth scrolling. I like that we're going sort of more touchscreen so you can get that modern gestures and pinch to zoom. Uh, I'm excited for it, whether or not it's gonna be an OS parody with iOS, Android, and WebOS. Uh, that has yet to be seen, but I am very much looking forward to it. So speaking of websites and browsing on a mobile phone, what if you want to make a website of your own? I want to take a quick minute to thank our friends at Squarespace. Squarespace is a fast and easy way to create high quality blog, portfolio, or any kind of website. If you have any questions or need help, the Squarespace folks are going to be there with their amazing customer support 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So you can call them when you're up at three in the morning trying to figure out how something works. Call them up, Squarespace. They'll say yeah, and they'll tell you what to do. You can start your own website or blog by choosing from one of over 60 professionally designed templates, and then add the content right from your computer, iPhone, or iPad. Squarespace's mobile apps allow you to easily add and manage your content from anywhere. So if you want to set up a blog, you can type out your blog posts on your phone or iPad and send it off, and it's going to be live. Kind of cool. Uh, many of the internet's highest traffic web pages are powered by Squarespace. Not to mention many personal pages of Revision 3 hosts and personalities uh, are also powered by Squarespace. So check out squarespace.com to get a two week free trial and 10% off when you sign up in July. How do you do that? Well, just enter coupon code TECHNO7. That is T-E-C-H-N-O and the number seven. Not only do you show your support for the Techno Buffalo staff, but you're also getting a pretty sweet discount on an awesome service. I've used Squarespace and I stand behind Squarespace. Whether you are an advanced coder or a novice looking to build a website, Squarespace really is gonna have something for you. Our last question comes from Brian Darden, who asked the question on everybody's mind. John, do you think there'll be an iPad 3 by next year? So if you're saying next year, full 12 months, yeah, of course there'll be an iPad 3. The big rumor is whether or not we're going to see an iPad 3 or an iPad HD come out by the holiday season. Supposedly, it's going to be a complementary line to the existing iPad with double the resolution uh, aimed at professionals that'll launch with the suite of video editing and photo editing uh, applications. I think we're going to see it. Probably not. It doesn't make sense to have that in Apple's portfolios. People are saying, well, Apple's got a MacBook and a MacBook Pro, so maybe we'll have an iPad and an iPad Pro. It just doesn't make sense, and Apple would piss off a ton of people if they were to create an iPad Pro or whatever iPad HD to go alongside the iPad 2 that I know a lot of you went out and bought. So a few months from now, if I'm wrong, I will replay this video and I will do something extremely embarrassing, uh, but I don't think we are going to see it. So thank you everybody for watching this episode of Ask the Buffalo. I'm your host, John Rettinger. Thank you for your time and your support and watching and asking questions and for not clicking out of the video, most importantly. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh my God. I'm gonna get my game face on. Game face, whoo.